Hey guys, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here. It's the Cooking with Jack show. My name is Jack Scalfani. We're going to take on somebody else's mom's recipe. Somebody sent me this. It's called Mom's Butter Chicken. All right. So I'm going to kind of show you how we do it. We'll get it all prepped. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 425. Then come in and close and I'll show what we're going to do. Okay. Guys, I want to talk about this recipe because this recipe was... A little bit different they asked for boneless skinless chicken breasts and they wanted like 20 some odd dollars for it and I'm like screw that I'm going with the boneless skinless thighs because I enjoy thigh meat more than I do breast meat and it was only what $12 yeah so I got a bigger pack of thighs man the prices are crazy I'm not paying stupid prices so if I have to I'll go to a like international store and get my chicken, uh, get my lamb, get all my meats. But anyway, yeah, so I got a whole package of chicken thighs. That's the substitution. I'll give you the recipe with the breasts if you want to do boneless, skinless breasts, or you can just go with another meat, all right? So we're doing this today. So let me get this open and then we'll start preparing our chicken and put it in our nine by 13 bake pan. All right, guys, so first of all, we're going to take our first bowl, pour a little bit of the evaporated milk in there. Not a lot, about half a can. Then put that, that milk off to the side. Okay. Got our milk in there. Now we got to prepare our flour. We do two scoops there and there. Go. We're going to season our flour really quick because we're basically going to coat in the milk and then coat in the flour and then put it in the pan. So put a little salt in there. There we go. Do -do 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 -do. Put some pepper in there. First thing we're going to do is, it only asks for one stick of butter. I'm putting two in this pan. Pop this in the oven. Melt the butter. Get it all in here. Then we're going to lay our prepared chicken in it, okay? All right, guys. Here's how we're going to do this. You're going to take a piece of chicken. Put it in the milk. Okay. Then drop it in here. Get a nice coating and then drop it in here. Do it with each one, okay? So now we're gonna take the rest of the ingredients, mix them in here, then we'll pour it over the chicken, we'll flip the chicken, pour it over the chicken, and cook the rest of the way, okay? So here we're gonna take, I'm getting a big can of um, cream of chicken. Put that in there. I don't know if they, they, the recipe didn't say whether it needs a big can or not. But I did a big can just to be safe. Can't have too much sauce. Take the rest of the evaporated milk, pour it in there. There we go. And it asks for a quarter cup of water. Pour that in there. And give it a good stir. This is the you can season this if you want. You can put more salt and pepper. You can put some, you know, red pepper flakes, whatever you want. I think I'm going to throw some red pepper flakes in here. I think that'll make it great. Here we go. Red pepper flakes. Right in here. There we go. Get it all mixed up. Let's turn everything over, see how we're doing. Turn that over, turn that over, turn each piece over. There we go. 
Let's pour this over the chicken. See how we're doing. All right, now this goes back in the oven till it's two temp. Use a meat thermometer. I usually do like 170 on my chicken um, or golden brown. Wait till both are happening, okay? It's not golden brown, leave it in a little bit longer, okay? Let's get this back in the oven. Okay, guys, so you know how we learn things as we go along because we don't practice these recipes on the show. We just show it to you first time. I think I used the big can of soup and I should have used the small can because it's not browning as it should. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a few pieces out, put it in this dish, put it back under the broiler to get it that crispiness. So let me do that right now. You know, it almost looks good, but I'm going to just give it a little bit more broil time. So let's take this piece. Whoops, no, that's not that piece. Yeah, take that piece. Let's take that piece. All right, guys, this is more what it's supposed to look like. So I'm probably going to have to take all the chicken out and just give it a little, little bit of a broil to get it crispy for Tammy when she gets home for dinner. But we will take that out. Put that right there. Take that out. Put that right there. Whoops. Get that on there. And, come on, of course you're sticking, there we go, there we go, we're going to let that cool and then we'll try it in a bit, so, once you get it nice and crispy, then you can give it a try, very buttery, very kind of crispy, um, good salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes all go together great, this is a good recipe. This is really good. I would even make like toothpicks and I would chop up the pieces and do like chicken chunks. Kind of like for football finger food. This is really good though. Okay guys, this is Mom's Butter Chicken. Check it out. I recommend this one. I love you and I will have the recipe corrected down below. All right, take care.